Now that your paper is filled with lines and shapes, the next thing we're going to do is add some color by painting. So when you're painting, you'll have your three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. The primary colors can make all of the colors in the rainbow if we mix them together. And you'll also have a water cup and a paintbrush. When you're painting, look at your paintbrush and look how the end of it is pointed. We always wanna keep our brush pointed so that it will create nice, beautiful paintings for us. We never ever want to smash our brush or press it really hard into the paint or on our paper because it will ruin the bristles of our brush. And that's like its hair. We don't want to mess up its hairdo. We want it to stay nice and pointy. To use our paints, we need to wake them up by adding water. So I'm adding water to red. Wake up red, it's time to paint. When I want to use another color, I need to clean off my brush. So I'm going to clean off the red in the water cup by swirling my brush around until the red is gone. Now I can go ahead and use yellow. Wake up yellow, it's time to paint. Now that I've used yellow, I need to wake up blue. I have to clean off the yellow on my brush first. Wake up blue, it is time to paint. All right, now I'm ready to add some paint to my shapes and lines. So you can paint your paper in any way that you'd like. You could paint around your shapes and fill them in with color. You could try to mix colors on your paper, never on your paints, because we want them to stay nice and clean for us to paint with. Notice that when you paint over the black crayon, it stays on the paper. That is called a resist. When an art material resists another material and shows through it. So I'm painting my colors right next to each other and notice when I paint with red and blue, I get a little bit of a purple between. That's because red and blue make purple. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my art by painting in the entire thing. Every time I use a different color, I am cleaning my brush so that my paints stay nice and clean. Once you're done with your painting, you can take your messy mat, which is underneath your painting, and your wet painting and slide it onto an empty spot on the drying rack near where you sit in the art room. I hope you had fun painting with the primary colors today and seeing how they mix together.